Well, hello. Am I speaking with Adem Patapoutian? You're speaking. Uh, hello, my name's Adam Smith. Um, I'm calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize. Hello there. Hi. Um, first of all, many, many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Thank you so much. What was it like getting the call from uh, Thomas Pellman? Um, it was, I was, I had Do Not Disturb on my phone, actually, so I didn't get his phone calls. And then he somehow found my father, who's 92 years old, lives in Los Angeles, and uh, he called me. And so I heard it from him, which was very special. <laughs> It's it's nice that your 92-year-old father knows how to bypass your do not disturb. <laughs> yes, it is indeed. Um, I'm, I'm watching the video feed right now of the announcement. Yeah, do you, would you like to watch it or would you? is it okay to talk for a couple of minutes? Um, we, 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 can, we can talk for it quickly. So, I mean, the, the, the pressure receptors that you've discovered, um, we, we've taken our ability to sense pressure for granted for all of humanity's existence. Uh, it's quite amazing that you have um, actually located the gatekeepers for this. What was it, do you think, that led you to ask the right question to get to the answer? Um, as you said, in, in science, many times it's uh, things that we take for, for granted that um, are of high interest. And um, us being in the field of sensing touch and pain, this was kind of the big elephant in the room where we knew they existed. We knew they um, did something very different than how most other cells communicate with each other, which is through chemicals. Um, and it was a difficult question to answer because technically it was, it was, it was difficult. But you're right in the sense that just identifying um, that uh, this was a big unknown um, and ignored, you know, things like sense of proprioception, your sense of where your limbs are compared to your body. Most people don't even think about as an important sense. But without it, you cannot walk, you cannot, um, you cannot stand up. And so it's a, it's a very important part of physiology. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the focus will be on, on touch very much, and that's what we've all missed during lockdown, I suppose. But of course, these pressure receptors control many things, blood pressure, as you say, proprioception. Absolutely. Um, and, and one of the exciting things about it is that it's taking us into uh, directions and places where we didn't know that pressure sensing was important. And that's one of the exciting things in the future. What's an example of one of those things? So, so for example, we have found that uh, red blood cells can sense pressure and adjust their volume. And um, in clinical settings, when you have too much of this sense, you can actually have dehydrated red blood cells that is protective against uh, malaria. We also have found that in immune cells, um, this protein regulates things like um, how much iron there is in your blood. Nobody ever could have thought that <laughs> pressure sensing is related to these, to these uh, processes. <laughs> how wonderful. <laughs> um, last question. What's... What do you think the secret of your research, your successful research environment is? <laughs> um, it's two in the morning. It's difficult <laughs> for me to say very intelligent things right now. But I think it's uh, um, the environment, the people around you, um, and um, just to kind of uh, focus on big questions that can be answered. In science, um, many times we we focus on um, the big questions, but if you have to ask it at the right place and the right time where the tools are present to answer those questions. Thank you. That was, I think that was a very intelligent answer for any time of the day, let alone 2 a.m. So, <laughs> um, thank you very, very much indeed for talking to me. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Lovely talking to you. Thank you. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this moment, you might also like this special edition of the Nobel Prize Conversations podcast. Adam Smith takes a turn as guest and recalls his favourite moments from these very special calls.